Hello, I'm Artifax from Mars. Many of you may not know this, but Alex Jones was actually divorced uh, to his wife used to be, uh, I'll show you, Kelly Rebecca Nichols. And uh, there's some interesting information about her. Because she's saying that Alex has anger problems, which, in some respects, I might agree, seeing some of his videos. I would say there's an issue there. Uh, but, Media Matters doesn't point out something, a few things about Kelly Jones. One thing is... She says that she's really not all that political, she's not an, ide an ideologue. Now, how about Alex got tied, tied up with her, I don't know. But, um, uh, she's in fact a left-wing ideologue. It's weird, because she was influenced by a journalist, Gary Allen, who apparently was a conservative. How that happens, I don't know. He is deceased. Now, there's some things that Media Matters mentions, some things they don't mention. They're first not going to say anything bad about Kelly Jones, but I'll tell you right now, there uh, are a couple of things, and these are well known, man. Right? know anything about her. Now, it says a uh, couple divorced in 2005. Alex did go off on uh, Adam Schiff. And calling him some names I'm not going to repeat here. Because Adam Schiff called him a Russian agent. And that, that did it. Let's put it that way. He really ripped into me. He don't like being called a Russian agent, which I can't blame him. Kelly said that she and her ex-husband met after she moved to Austin, Texas, while and was working for Public Access TV station where they had the same producer. While initially drawn to him because he was different than anybody I had ever met, he said several years into the relationship suddenly as living in a domestically violent situation completely isolated from all friends and family. Uh, right. I mean, you don't know how to use the telephone? Saying what she describes as her ex-husband's lack of control, anger problems, and substance abuse issues. Jones said it was a nightmare to be with him. It was horrible and special towards him was awful, untenable. Bill said she stayed in the relationship for as long as she did because she was in domestic violence cycle. But she said that she saw her children starting to emulate some of her father's mannerisms. She concluded that, like a lot of domestic victims' families, she was fooling herself that this isn't having an effect on her. Well, excuse me, uh, sons especially tend to emulate their fathers. What's wrong with that? Joan said she was speaking out to help others who may be in similar situations, telling Pacman the reason why I'm coming out so hard is I divorced Alex Jones. Everyone looked at me and gaslit at me and said I was a liar and worse and threatened me horribly. Victim shamed me when I came forward with serious concerns about abuse and neglect and other things. Now, I'm going to take you into a site, and this is well known information. Short bio of Kelly Rebecca Nichols, her maiden name. Four Seasons Hotel Inside. In 1996, she raised controversy after throwing a dead raccoon onto Vogue editor Anna. Winter's 
dinner plate while she was having dinner at Four Seasons Hotel in New York City. The incident went on to become one of the most famous incidents in the history of the hotel later on. You see, uh, Kelly Jones is an animal rights extremist. Uh, she's PETA, wacko, uh, type. Two, tofu cream pie in the face. She made paparazzi follow her while she threw a tofu cream pie to fashion designer Oscar de la Renta's face while he's in the apartment store for a promotional event in Dallas, Texas. And this is the woman who's talking about Alex Jones' anger? That's very interesting. She receives $43,000 per month as an al- alimony from Alex while she owes his firm about $200,000 in legal costs for the work in the custody trial. Uh, she lost. She's trying to get her kids away from uh, battle for cus- children's custody. Uh, Jones family doctor Elisa Sherry reveals that Alex was diagnosed with with narcissistic personality disorder as he released his fury and yelled at his daughter during the time when she broke her foot due to a shoe that she was wearing. Kelly and her attorneys are trying to portray Alex as a bad influence on the children. Kelly can visit her children, but with many limitations. However, Alex is firm on the ground that he is merely playing a character in Infernal Wars as a performance artist. Alex Jones' attorney claimed that Kelly is emotionally unstable and is unfit to be a good mother. She could have a good time with the children rather than being unstable, whereas Kelly's mental counselors in favor of her claim that Alex was emotionally, mentally, and sexually abusive to her. So, you didn't take your pick, you didn't decide who you believe. Now, this is not the uh, paragon of virtue that uh, Media Matters claims she is. Uh, it's, you take and throw a dead raccoon on somebody's plate while they're eating. That's nasty. And, you know, tossing pies in people's faces. Remember, this is left. It's funny. Her only influence was uh, right wing, but she's a left wing ideologue and animal rights activist. PETA, wacko, nutcase type. So you can take your pick who you believe. I tend to think. Alex is a little over the top on some things. Probably does have some issues. But, well, again, so is she. I'm not getting between them and their divorce. That's their business. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.